Welcome to this JD Demo Junior presentation. My name is Randall Whiteman and today I'll be taking you through an introduction to JD Edwards Enterprise One version 9.1. For a start, what is an enterprise resource planning system? That's what JD Edwards is. The E for enterprise, it's a set of software applications which covers the entire enterprise. So this is from right through from financials through sales manufacturing, distribution, transportation, uh, right through to a number of uh, very specific applications such as real estate management. So JD Woods is designed to cover the entire business. So what is JD Edwards? Well it's a set of applications, There's, there are thousands in total, which all work together to provide uh, support for what a business needs to do. So this comes to one of the first points from what an ERP system does. You first need to figure out what the business process is and then you configure the software to match what the business process is, the related sequence of events to achieve what the business needs to achieve. So the next part in the enterprise resource planning system is the resources. So what resources does JD Edwards allow you to manage? Resources can be the obvious, such as uh, items, so products, as well as uh, cash, so a business has to have cash to operate, but also resources such as the constrained capacity of a manufacturing shop floor. So JD Edwards Manufacturing allows you to manage the uh, the capacity of the shop floor to ensure that the manufacturing achieves the desired output. And it also allows you to then plan the uh, plan the manufacturing activities to achieve the, uh, the desired results and all of the associated activities, so the purchasing, uh, the, the work order manufacturing, the scheduling, um, and tracking the inventory and sales, right through to paying your suppliers in accounts payable and collecting the cash from your customers in accounts receivable. So it covers the entire, entire business. So let's have a look at the interface of JD Edwards. So you can see here, what we can see is we're looking at the, um, it's called the standalone version of JD Edwards. This is not the production version, but it has uh, all the same front-end user features. It's just missing some of the more advanced server-based functionality. Uh, you cannot use this in a live production um, environment, but it has all the functionality to allow the testing, and hence why it's uh, traditionally been called JDE Demo Junior and hence the name of our website Demo Junior jdedemojunior.com so if we look at the front end interface we can see that there's a menu system so the home button will always allow you to get back to the the base home screen the navigator if you want to delve down through the series of menus showing the different functionality which is available and JD will be always shipped to a customer with all functionality but through auditing you can only use what you have purchased so there are over 80 different modules in JDE uh, but you have to license them separately so we see that foundation systems is the address book um, and I'll just go into the address book as an example of one application so let's look at the address book revisions. So we can see here that the menu system, there are quite a few clicks to get through to the menu. Alternatively, if we're hovering over one of the menu tasks, we can right click and choose add to favorites. And that will then allow when we create the click the create button, create favorite button to create the favorites. So I'll do that now. And I have previously set up a number of favourites as I've been going through the manufacturing functionality of JDE. And we saw 
where is it? Address book revisions down the bottom there. So now instead of having to troll through the entire menu structure, you can just go to favorites and choose your uh, menu task. I would suggest that instead of doing individual tasks, you do the lowest level folder and you name it appropriately so that you don't have so many tasks on your favorites, but you just have one click through the folder and then get to the final um, set of tasks. Let's go into our address book revisions, left click on the favorite, and this will bring up the work with addresses form of the address book revisions application. And we can see here the general structure of an application it has a header, header area where you have filter fields. So we can click, click in a filter field and for instance look for uh, V for vendor and hit the find button and we can find all vendors. So Jetty Demo Junior or standalone ships with a number of um, oh, a set of demonstration data and it's quite good, it covers a number of different processes which are pre-configured for demonstration purposes. So we can see along the uh, the buttons, if we ch uh, click one of the rows and click the select button, that will allow us to go in and revise the record. We just we shown, uh, saw the find button and the add button to create a new record, copy to copy an existing record, delete, close this screen, and then we have one of the powerful features of JDE is the ability to link from one application to another. So in this instance we have a row, they're called exits, row exit, and we can go off to these different uh, forms or sometimes applications or sometimes they trigger uh, processing within the same form. So in this instance we'll go in and we will select this record, Supplies Unlimited is the vendor. And we can see we go into the address book revision form of the address book revisions application. And we can see we've got the, the different tabs along here, so this is a, another feature of an application, you can have different tabs holding the different uh, different buttons, the different uh, fields. So let's come out of there and we'll go into another application, Item Master. And same thing, if I type in an item number in the, uh, this is called the query line, and find, I can go and go into that. I'll just come back out of there because there's a feature that we saw an extra button called form. So the form button allows you to take an action based on the entire uh, the entire form, not a specific row on the grid. So we can see in this instance we have item word search. If we go into this record, we can see now for the selected record, the red touring bike, we can take different form exits for the red touring bike. So this is functionality which is associated specifically with the selected record. Let's come back out of there. Now on the main screen, we also then have, actually let me open up a an, a, a, uh, an application and I'll hit the, use the home button to get back to the home. Any of the open applications, I'll open up a second application as well. Home button. Open applications are uh, shown under the open applications menu. But also down the left hand side it's something called the, um, the carousel and you can see the open applications and you can scroll up and down and open and close the carousel areas. So the favourites as well, you can show the favourites in the carousel. And you can also move the carousel. Uh, you can hide it. Right. Now, 
as well as that you have recent reports so the standalone version of JDE doesn't allow you to run reports because there is no batch processor so you have to go through there is a way of doing it but you have to go through the um, uh, it's what's called the um, the thick client you know, rather than the web client here there's a different interface to run the batch processors so the background reports one of the open applications item master going into a record we'll choose our red touring bike again and now we can see within an application we have our buttons, we have our tabs. We can also move between the the main forms. So we have two forms of the application open. Item Master Browse and the Item Master Revisions. And we can move back and forth between these. When we have a grid open, we have several features of the grid. We can export what's currently showing on the grid out to Excel. and hitting continue, press and continue will then export the data out into the, the Excel. We also have queries. The query line, uh, the query functionality, advanced queries, is quite powerful. It allows you to set up um, standard, um, well, standard queries so that if you're searching, consistently searching for um, something in particular, and you find that you're always looking for, for instance, uh, line or manufacturing stocking types. It works better in transactional system, transactional screens rather than the master data screens. Uh, but we're looking for bikes. And we find there's five bikes. If we're consistently looking, searching for the bikes, we can go and set up a query and we can say manufactured stocking type, that's the M and the sales category code one is BIK and we can save that as manufactured bikes hit OK now we see under the query we have manufactured bikes you could set it as a default, so as soon as you, you go into the item master, it runs the manufactured bikes, but I won't do that for now. And we can close that again. Okay, so now if I come out of the item master and I go back in, we can see by default it shows all records, but we can run a manufactured bikes and we don't need to remember all of the, the setup details we can always go back in and edit your queries and find what the setup criteria of that particular query is that's some basic functionality of JD Edwards I hope you've enjoyed this presentation from JD Demo Junior if you have any queries about this presentation please use the YouTube comments or log on to www.jdemojunior.com and add a request or start a discussion. Thank you. This was a jdemojunior.com presentation. Visit jdemojunior.com for more great JD Edwards content. And like the JD Demo Junior Facebook page. And subscribe to the JD Demo Junior YouTube channel. Go to community content for articles on a wide range of JD Edwards topics, and many more demos, of course. Go to community discussions to see what other people have to say, or have your own say. Thanks for viewing this demo. I look forward to seeing you on jaddydemojunior.com.